everybody, it's me, Mojo, and this is E's Little Doggy. I hope you're all doing well. I don't know about you guys, but lately I've been feeling like there's not much to do around this place. I've been kind of bored. My mommy doesn't like me to say I'm bored. She says there's too many books in the world to ever be bored. But anyway, I have been feeling like there's not much to do. Then my mommy told me she has a perfect book to read to me. Would you like to read it with us? All right, everybody. Let's read it together. It's called Have Fun, Molly Lou Melon. I can't wait. Wowzers, wowzers. Have Fun, Molly Lou Melon, written by Patty Lavelle, illustrated by David Cottrell. Molly Lou Melon's toy chest overflowed with whoozy what's its of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls or action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers like hollyhocks and daisies. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and crumbly rock walls with thingamajigs peeking out from every crevice. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have a store-bought dollhouse. I made one in my backyard. So she did just that. Lou Mellon's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have a race car. I sat in a cardboard box and sped down the hill. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon lay on her back in the tall, willowy grass. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have a television. I watched the clouds that floated by, and I saw lots of things in them. So she did just that. One day, new neighbors moved in next door. When Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome their little girl, she heard Gertie say to her mom, I'm bored, bored, bored! Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her darling Darla Deluxe dollhouse complete with an electric mixer and working chandeliers. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her tree root palace, complete with acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf air conditioning system, and cicadia jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. On Tuesday, Gertie drove over her battery operated, fully loaded Coupe de Ville. Look out below! Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurling down the hill in her turbo box car, hand painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. On Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone, but then she heard a strange sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling in her window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call from me, Molly Lou Mellon? Y yes Gertie spoke into the can. Great, come on over. Click! Gertie was amazed. On Thursday, Gertie asked Molly Lou Mellon if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on her big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide! Molly Lou Mellon said, Not today, thanks. I'm going to watch the clouds. They're sky wide. 
Gertie was amazed. On Friday, Gertie brought over a homemade doll with a frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. It's for your palace, she said. And Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, tired, tired from playing all week. They lay down in the tall, willowy grass, looking up at the clouds. I see a butterfly, Gertie giggled, and a penguin, and a refrigerator. Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and grinned her biggest grin. I see a grandma-shaped cloud winking at me. And Molly Lou Mellon winked right back. I don't know about all of you, but we are really feeling inspired to create something out of old stuff. Let's go look around the house for old random things we don't need anymore, and let's get Mom to take us out to the recycling bin so we can look through that too. Oh, I bet we can find a whole bunch of fun stuff. Wowzers, wowzers, let's make recycled art. Hey there, artists, Miss E here. So the doggies and I went on a little hunt around the house to look for things we could use and also out to the recycling bin. Oh, did we find some good things. So we found an old book, some old watercolor scraps, some old fabric, some ribbons, some paper clips, pencils, corks, old tissue paper, paper bags, old cards, old magazines, old pieces of mail, lids from the recycling bin, an old Easter egg, burlap yarn, an old folder, a whole bunch of cardboard of all different sizes and thickness, more lids, cereal boxes. Oh my goodness, just so much stuff. Oh, I can't wait to get started. I'm starting to brainstorm right now. We're also going to need some glue, tape, scissors, markers, and you can use a glue gun, but make sure you have an adult to help you with that. All right, a blank piece of paper. I think I'm going to work on a collage. Instead of using my scissors sometimes, I like to rip the paper. I like the effect that it gives.
I might give this to my mom for Mother's Day. Well, this turned out fantastically amazing. I loved making this collage self-portrait. It looks exactly like me. Wowzers, wowzers. Hmm, what to do with this stuff? I think I have an idea. I would like to introduce to you Princess Pig. Boy, oh boy. I sure do wish this robot I created could get us some of those yummy dog treats out of the treat jar. Oh, my silly little brothers, I love what they created with all the old recyclable stuff, but I made something very sophisticated and historic. I made a sarcophagus from ancient Egypt. Do you like it? What do you think? Wowzers, wowzers, this was so much fun. I bet all you artists out there are brainstorming what you can create. Isn't art the best? Hey there, artists. Have some fun. Make some art. We will see you next time.